Okay, ready, Kevin? I am. All right. Your microphone. No, Your yet. microphone. Oh. I am. <laughs> Welcome to the message recap where we revisit what we spoke on on Sunday. Yep. And this Sunday we started a new series. Yep. Which our new panel hosts so festively nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how come you didn't wear a red, white, and blue necklace and earrings? I may have done this on purpose. <laughs> just maybe. I had them out. I just forgot yeah. to put them on. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay. He's got the blue on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say something. I'm not. Yes. Yeah, um, uh, and uh, this message was Christian politics. The start of the series on Christian politics. Correct. Correct. Yes. The series on Christian politics. The, yep. the message was being salty. Yep. Being salty. Yep. Which we are all proficient at. Yes. In one definition <laughs> of the word. So. Yeah, uh, really kind of the, this was, as I think about it now in the rest of the series, this is really kind of just an introduction mm -hmm. to everything we're going to talk about in the rest of this series, yeah. but kind of setting the stage of um, our God-given purpose as Christians mm -hmm. is always to reach others, to be part of his mission, and how unfortunately for Christians, especially in today's culture, that seems to play second fiddle to our politics. Yes. Yeah. So. I, I saw this message as being more of a, uh, a, a foundational directional change, you know, kind of like as we yeah. look at all these things, let's keep this foundation in mind yep. as we go forward and look at these other things. And yep. we, uh, we all probably agree that that last question at the end of the message was uh, a great, great <laughs> question. <laughs> if we're honest with ourselves to really look at that and, I think that whole idea is really, do I personally care more about the Constitution of the United States, or the values of this country, do I care more about that or people spending eternity with God? Like, hello, mm -hmm. my mind would say, well, of course I do, but my but passion doesn't always My prove. Facebook mm -hmm. posts don't always <laughs> line up with... Yeah. Action. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I said this several times during the message. I'm going to say it again now just so nobody gets on me. But we're not saying the Constitution's not important. Very important. It's very important. Thank God for the United States of America Amen. and the Constitution. Yep. Uh, it has changed most of the globe. Yes. For the better. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, we didn't talk about this on Sunday, but where Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this, this world. world right and that's kind of where the 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 idea behind at least this first week's message came out of is we seem to be more christians seem to be more concerned with things that affect this world and this life mm -hmm. more than things that affect our eternal lives and mm -hmm. where people are going to spend eternity so. yep mm -hmm. yep and our actions don't match our passion mm -hmm. as as, as yeah. kevin said i now. think as you said on sunday uh Typic or not Sunday, Thursday, it seems to be that we've said that politics trumps Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> and Christianity should trump. <laughs> Trump Amen. politics. <laughs> Christianity should trump yeah. politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, we're yeah. over here biding our time. So. Uh, well, you know, guys are over there biding your time, and we're just talking about what Trump's something we all so. need to think about. Not everybody's like this. Not every Christian is, or, or non-Christian, but every mm -hmm. Christian is not all political and things. Mm -hmm. But I think we, we tend to be that way passionately about mm -hmm. those things. And there's a good reason for it, because politics is about values. It really mm -hmm. is. Politics about values. Politics is about where we stand. And those things sometimes can be so divisive. We, we can't always be best friends with people who are going a different direction than we mm -hmm. are. The point of the message, not that we're going, the, the point was all this, and I hope we all would think about this in every transaction, whether it's politics, whether it's business, whether it's where you bring your car to get fixed, when it's, mm -hmm. when it's a, a problem, you know, controversy with any human being, that we would be more concerned with winning them to a growing relationship with God through Jesus Christ than winning any kind of uh, monetary victory 
uh, my rights being you know delivered or not we see the early church giving up all of their rights for the mission you know mm-hmm. and the purpose of the mission and in America we just seem to think what you started the message with we tend to think politics is first and spirituality is second it's just you know like we we almost would believe that the constitution of the united states god breathed he didn't no nope. but nope. sometimes we think i would defend that constitution before i would defend that bible mm-hmm. and that's nobody fine would, if you're not nobody a christian would, yeah nobody would say that say that yeah but they but that's how we respond or act you know it, it would seem or yeah. or in many cases not everybody and actually i i disagree with that i've heard a lot of people say i'd lay down my life for this country and I would. Which is fine. No, yeah. that's, that's 100%. Fine. That's good. I've heard I'm a glad. lot less people hey, say. you know what? June 6th was the anniversary. Sunday was the anniversary of D-Day. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm glad people have laid down their yes. lives Absolutely. for this country. But if it just doesn't even compare to eternity. No. Right? Right. It's no. not, well, it's not, shouldn't even be dis- included in the same discussion <laughs> no. as eternity. So, And uh, one of the weeks in the series we are going to be talking about, there are certain things more valuable than our life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this country is one of those, or mm-hmm. freedom is one of those. Mm-hmm. But first and foremost, what's the point of this message? Yep. First and foremost should always be for a Christian is drawing people into a growing relationship with God through Jesus Christ, first and foremost. Well, and I think we saw in 2020, like the division that came about with the elections and like the political, mm-hmm. like it was crazy mm-hmm. to yeah. see people that, you know, lost, friends or like just disregarded people and didn't even care and like the question at the end do you really care about people's salvation Mm -hmm. like that should be what you care about more than anything else and disregard them as a person we might never be close friends but i should always i god's heart is now whether mine or follows or not depending on how close i am to god but my heart should follow to well i even if we disagree about everything in life, I right. still want you to know God through I should Jesus. Care, I should care mm-hmm. enough about you yeah. to make sure that your eternity mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. solid. No, and no. No the no. other stuff is just whatever. Yeah. We're not like, mm-hmm. yeah. let's care about the the real. Once we get done with number life, one, then we then can we start can, doing all the rest. Yeah. Let me give you a couple examples that mm-hmm. are very real. Uh, to ask ourselves. Would I be willing to, this is kind of over now, but would I be willing to put a mask on, even though I know I have a right not to wear one, to share Jesus with you wearing a mask? You know, would I be willing to put a mask on to share Jesus with somebody who's wearing a mask? Would I be willing to lay my pistol down to share with somebody who's afraid of guns about Jesus Christ? Would I be willing to surrender my personal rights for the purpose Mm -hmm. of sharing the gospel Mm -hmm. and that is a ground level where uh, you know rubber meets the road yeah i would love if we could do both things i wanted yes you know yeah i'd love to not have to do those things but would you be willing but which one am i going to lay down first Mm -hmm. that i'm going to keep perspective that seems like a pretty easy i'm going to keep my pistol on my belt and not tell you about Jesus because you don't like pistols. Yeah. No, why would I do that? There was a guy in the tough. Bible that did a lot of that stuff. He like did. he ate with certain people that he shouldn't, mm-hmm. or like. And wasn't that guy normal. also said, yeah. oh. he said, I would. I have the right to eat anything. No, oh. but for those in weaker faith or those who aren't there, mm-hmm. I will not practice my rights i'm Mm -hmm. paraphrasing but he said i will not use my freedoms i will not use my freedoms to uh hurt your faith Mm -hmm. boy is that applicable today yeah i saw so many and again i was part of this but in 2020 especially with everything that happened i saw you know we'll just take our church because that's easy but all these things that we'd post online or on Facebook and how many mm-hmm. interactions or shares or, you know, we'd get from other people mm-hmm. versus yeah. you look at those people, same walls, and it's just filled with politically divisive stuff. And it like, at what point does that ruin our ability to reach people mm-hmm. who are far from God? Should we talk mm-hmm. about it? Yes, it's important. All political stuff mm-hmm. is important, but 
how, when, with what crowd, in what ways, what stays the most important, all those yep. things. Mm -hmm. I just think we've gotten backwards. Mm -hmm. yep. So That's why the last question, if you haven't seen the message yet, mm -hmm. you will, and most of you have, but that last question, we've got to answer that to judge our own motivation, mm -hmm. our own heart. Mm -hmm. That question, we got to be honest with ourselves. And I know that God wants that. I, we, we know how we know he what wants his answer would answer be. That. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, we know here there's nothing more important than eternity. Nothing. America is okay. not more important than eternity. Nope. Correct. Not even close. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's, it's great. It's a great country. I love the but Constitution. It's not better. Mm -hmm. It's not better. Nope. Yep. All right. Well, well, I mean, there you go. Well, there you have it. There's more weeks of the series. Yeah, there's more coming. We're not done. No. Nope. Yeah, if you're, I said this on Sunday too, but if you're like butt hurt that we didn't cover something you think is important, we'll probably get to it. Oh, yeah. And if not, we have other episodes during the week called <laughs> You Asked For It, where you there ask you those questions. You go so right ask ahead. <laughs> I'm expecting uh, this series will fuel some You Asked For It questions. Yeah, I'm so. hoping. I'm there really hoping it does. Yep. For the purpose of clarification, yeah. not fighting. No, yeah, no absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're not trying to cause division. Right, we're not, not. trying to. No, but no. there's nothing wrong with a good, healthy debate either. Clarification, no. growth, yeah. all those sorts of things. Absolutely. So. Conversation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 100%. All right. Well, there it is. There's our message recap. Uh, we will see you next week. The link for the message will be in this video. Feel free to click on that if you haven't watched the message. Watched the message.